All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to the absolutely improvised monologue. The stuff's down here. Uh, check it out. This is different. This is unique. This is Porky Jr. getting good grades. He must want something. Maybe a, a bicycle. Maybe a. I don't know. I don't know what kids want. He gives whatever he wants. He he he, he tells Gail. Gail tells me. I go to the, to the Target or whatever and get it. So I can't figure out why the kid's getting good grades. This is a radical departure from anything he's ever done in his life. So I'm watching. I'm watching. I, I call I call Gail Jr. and I say, "Honey, watch your brother at school. Tell me what's going on." Because he went from, as, as you guys like to say, he went from zero to hero in about four weeks. I got his teacher on the phone. Now, 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 Gail Jr., listen. When his teacher called me in October, she was talking about rubber bands and paper clips. Now she's calling to talk about A's and, and, and attention and class participation. I don't know what's going on, but it's scaring me. That's not how our family goes. I, I, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm suspicious. I'm sure you understand. So Gail Jr. says, of course, Dad. So she goes to school and kind of keeps an eye on her brother for a little bit. And what's he doing? What's he up to? And she learns the secret to his success. So that Friday at dinner, put out the tamales, put out some beans. Put a little pasta, a nice little dinner, all the basic starch groups represented. And Gail Jr. says to Porky Jr., how is Mary Beth Ackerman? Boy, that kid turned red as an heirloom tomato. And I said, who's Mary Beth Ackerman? And he mumbled and stumbled and didn't say a word. And Gail Jr. looked at me and she said, Pops? Mary Beth Otterman is the reason why Porky Jr. has suddenly become a Rhodes Scholar. Why he's smart, Dad. Why he's smart. Why he's picking up his grades. Now, I don't know who this Mary Beth Otterman is, but I love her. Because she's making Porky Jr. want to be a better version of himself. That's a radical departure from the kid who just wants to sit on a skateboard in a driveway and listen to the Boomtown Rats. You know what I'm saying? So he finally catches his breath. He says, Dad, I'm going to marry her. I said, once you graduate the eighth grade first, then we'll have that conversation. Fair enough? He said, fair enough. I said, good, let's eat. Maybe over the weekend we'll take Mary Beth Otterman out for ice cream. He's from out so big I thought he was going to swallow his ears. Parenting. 